All right, so basically, I get to ride my road bike up this climb. It's called the Kangamangas Climb or Kangamangas Highway, and uh, it's like ride bike too. If you hadn't watched that video with like ride bike to 100 miles, it was like really really cool. But I'm going up there in the truck. Yeah, my parents are driving up there, and I'm going with them. So I'm gonna bring the one series, and then I'm gonna hope to go up this climb. So everyone's gonna be think I'm crazy because it's like. Eight, it's gonna be 18 degrees. It was so cold today. It was like windy, but I was on the bike today. So yeah, I gotta pack the winter stuff. And everyone there is gonna think I'm crazy, but like, who doesn't think I'm crazy? Let's see. I don't drink coffee. I don't eat animal products, which is all very healthy for you. But to everyone else, you're freaking psycho. All right, so we packed my clothing, and my sweatpants, and camera charger, and all that stuff. Now we gotta get to the boring, like, you know, like the toothbrush and all that boring, like, healthy stuff. I can't even do this the right way. Healthy stuff. See you there? Okay, so update. I'm here, and... Okay, so update, and I'm here, and last night I had this really, really good, uh tofu dish that I really like. I have it whenever I come here. I'm gonna show you a picture of it right now. And it looks really, really good. And I don't know, it's so, it has like this maple glaze sauce. And also like I went to this cocktail party with my mom and dad and they had like a couple things I could eat. They gave me these, um, these berries that were kinda, they're almost like marinated, kinda like the berries you'd find in a sangria. And then other thing I had was these noodles that I could have, they're really spicy and they, had some vegetables and I added some carrots to them, so that was really good. So I had those for dinner. And then this morning I had this um, fruit, which is really good with a bit of granola. And I was sure to eat the melon first because I heard it digests better if you do it that way. And yeah, so I'm gonna go up the mountain even though it looks so, so cold outside. Here, look how cold, look how cold it is. It's a little different than when I came up here in the summertime. Look at that. But yeah, let's go outside. But also another thing, so I need to be out of my condominium by like 11 because it was like this owner's meeting this weekend. So that's why I'm in a little bit of a rush and I'm dressed in, you know, my joggers and my sweatshirt. But the thing is, I don't know, I gotta carry my mom and dad's luggage out to the truck first. And I need to put WD-40 because I cleaned the bike so it was filthy, I've just been riding it in the rain and through all kinds of crap. So I hosed it off the other day, but I need to put some, I couldn't find the chain lube because my brother uses stuff and he never puts it back like where he's supposed to. So shout out to Brendan, I love you. Um, yeah, so he never put it back. So my dad's got some WD-40 in his truck, so I guess I can just use that. But yeah, I just wanna say I'm so happy to be on YouTube, YouTube and for you guys because it's like, I feel like I don't do it often. I still feel super like horrible that I missed a week the other time. Like that's not acceptable. And you guys should not let me do that again. Like seriously. But yeah, this is this is what we meant to do. Let's go up the mountain. I'm zooming in. Yeah, let's go up the mountain. All right, I'm here. So we'll get her set up now. All right, cool. So I'm down here. Got the bike ready. Got some WD-40 on there. I still got my Vans on, gotta change in the clip shoes, but yeah, let's get on the road, or the, the, the snow road, because it's covered in the snow. <laughs>
But yeah, I haven't been up here for a while. But I miss being up here, it's really, really cool. And you can just see the mountains everywhere. It's like the prettiest thing ever. Like, look at that. <coughs> but yeah, it's like cold out here. It's probably like 30 degrees out here. And I've been climbing the whole time. And like, I tried going full gas, but it's just like, not like rocking the handlebars and stuff. Cause what I should say is, you see the handlebars down, or no, not the handlebars. You see the pedals down here, your clip shoes here. Ice gets in your clip shoes. It can be hard to clip in. What I did was I took a rock on the side of the road and I scraped most of the ice out of it. And I got it out, but still, I don't want there to be like too much in there. If you know what I mean, it's just too much. But yeah, we'll keep going to the summit. So we're up at about 2,855 feet over here. I did this before uh, with my dad actually. I'll leave the video up, time card up in the corner. But yeah, I mean, we just entered a different climate. Like, look at this. I mean, we still have tall pine trees, but the shorter pine trees, I think that's how you know you're getting up higher. This car going by. Man, there's one bike going up the hill. Look at that. Look at that motherfucker over there. That's a mountain bike though. You do not want to go up this hill on a mountain bike, let me let me tell you. I mean, maybe if you had mountain bike cranks, that'd be cool, but like, you know. But, but the moral of this story is, dude, ride your fucking bike. Don't let it sit inside. Don't be like, oh my gosh, well, I'm gonna get salt and sand. Well, I don't have fenders, which I probably should. I gotta order some of those. Gotta spray this thing off again when I get home. But the thing is, you're meant to get fit and like ride your bike, go vegan so you don't bonk and eat all the carbs, don't do the high fat vegan thing. You know, I like guacamole, but like, I'll eat guacamole if I got a day off the next day, you know, not like just killing it the next day. But yeah, I mean, made it up here, which is pretty sweet. It was a Strava segment. I'll put up whatever time I got right here. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, it's super quiet up here. Of course, when I say that, there's a car coming, but yeah, it's so quiet. The snow definitely reduces the sound. It's absolutely beautiful. Amazing way to spend a morning, early afternoon. And yeah, we're gonna do this descent. This is like a fucking awesome descent because it just goes all the way down for a long ass time. But the thing is, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna have to just go in the middle of the road somehow and people are gonna have to, you know, go around me or figure out what to do. But I mean, if you watch The Vegan Cyclist, he probably, I think he's had issues with that. Like someone brake checked one of his friends or something. But yeah, that wasn't too good. But absolutely, dude, it's freaking beautiful up here. Like, I don't know, this is, this is one of the reasons I don't smoke weed or uh, do acid or, or stuff like that. Like, why would you do that when you could do this? Like, you got the runner's hype, but it's better. You're on a bike, you're moving, you listen to some music. I, I listen to like, yeah, you know, I listen to my trap music, like Little Skies, or, um, you know, I listen to my Sway Lee music, whatever. And then, like, I listen to, like, half of that new Post Malone album on the way up here. And I got to, yeah, I got to On the Road, and then, like, I got up here, so that was pretty cool. But, yeah, I have been on the road. But, man, we're so high up. I probably get such a shitty Strava time, because, yeah, there are probably some super lucky people. I'm sorry, my camera, like... I'll forget to delete stuff and it'll run out of storage, so I need to delete something and then start it up again. But the thing is, there are probably some super lucky people that live near here and go out to go up every day. And you'd be like, what? No, going up 2,000 feet every day sounds like torture. And, and it does, but like, it gets fun. I, I know it's stupid. Like, it doesn't sound like it makes any sense whatsoever, but it actually does get really fun. And oh my gosh, man, if you live near here, you're gonna be fit as fuck. You're gonna be fit as, you're gonna be way fitter than me or any, especially if you do v vegan. Oh, actually, I forgot to tell you. I saw Joe Rogan go flying past me on a on a, on a mountain bike. Like, like you didn't even need a road bike. He was. I, I saw Joe Rogan fly past me up this climb on his low carb carnivore diet. I forgot to tell everybody that. I remember him dropping durian right, and now he dropped me. He he just he, he flew right past me, eating nothing but like lard and bacon and like deer and like all that stuff 
so yeah i i, I can't believe that part that was that was a crazy part <laughs> that was the crazy part of the of this bike ride that, that was the craziest thing i've ever seen ever um but yeah i want to do this descent so yeah let's just let's just freaking send it down the hill <laughs> <laughs> 